Hey, hello, my friend. Is your website ready for sales, particularly as we get towards the end of the year when more people will be going to your website? Does it give confidence to collectors to buy your art? Well, in this video, we're going to do an audit and I want to go over the most important pages on your artist's website. And particularly, I want to tell you one secret page that really has made a huge difference in my own art, in my own website. And I'm going to share that with you and I'll tell you why that particular page has created amazing opportunities for my art career. So don't go anywhere, it's gonna be Mr. awesome. Gomez. I'm an artist, curator, gallery owner, author and co-founder of the Art Next Level program. And my goal with this channel is to make marketing and art business easy so that you can grow your art career, find new opportunities, sell more art and spend more time creating in the studio. So if you like that, make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the little bell so that you receive notifications of our future videos. Well, let's talk about your artist's website. Yes, your artist's website is the place where you're going to send people to look at your art and to make the next logical step, right, in the journey, which is, you know, to buy your art or invite you to opportunities or commission you to make a work of art, etc. right? Your website is like your home. Your web I always say that a website should always be uh, changing. You know, a website is never really 100% complete because as artists, we're always making new work, right? So your website should reflect also your life as an artist and the things that you are doing as an artist. So I have my website here and we're going to go over, you know, specific pages on my website that have made a huge impact and a huge difference in my art career and my sales and opportunities. Because I want you to have the same and experience the same thing. Particularly the last one that I'm going to share with you, it's a page that when I added it to my website, it really blew me away and I never thought it would make such a huge difference. So let's go to the entire thing and uh, on a systematic way so that you can also do an audit on your own website and see if you are ready you know, to have people come to your site with confidence, put their wallet and make a purchase. So let's go through that. All right, the first thing you want them to look at is your homepage, right? Let's talk about the homepage. The homepage is super important. The homepage shouldn't be too long because somebody lands on your homepage and they're going to stay here for maybe three to five seconds before they go to the next most promising link on your site. So your homepage should be enticing, should be very attractive to the viewer when somebody lands here. It should right away give them confidence that you are a professional artist that you are here ready to make a sale that you're here ready it's a good place to be right you want to be present yourself as a confident artist and the way you do that is through the images that you provide in my case because i've been making art for a long time i have a picture of my studio here with some very large paintings i like to work large so immediately as you land here you already know that you're in a website of an artist who makes large work now, now, if you don't have a beautiful studio or you make small art or whatever, it doesn't matter. You can make a really nice picture of you working in your studio or in your table, or maybe at least, you know, put two or three of your best pieces on your home page. Or if you have had an exhibition in the past, maybe a picture of that exhibition, something that looks really nice. The reality is that a lot of people are going to come to your website, you know, maybe because uh, they have seen your artwork on Instagram. So maybe they already went to your social media, they found you there, you know, or Facebook or Twitter or um, TikTok, whatever, and they click on your profile link and that led them to your website. So you want to make sure to carry on what already they may have already seen in, in social media to hear and say, yes, yeah, so, you know, I landed in the right place. I want to spend a few minutes here and see what this artist is all about. All right, the next thing that I have here on my particular website is just one sentence. There's not a whole lot of text to read. I've seen websites where, you know, artists have their artist statement on their home page or a huge long text. The reality is that, again, a landing page here, your, your home page is where somebody's going to get here and then go somewhere else, right? It's a jump page. So, but uh, I would recommend, you know, a mission artist statement if you have one that is just a one sentence, like a, like a quick one-liner. In my case, my mission is to create art as a sanctuary where the spiritual intersects with the human experience. It's right there. That's it. That's all I need to say, right? This and this statement encompasses kind of like, you know, summarizes what my mission as an artist is. And that is very important for me because I really want viewer, the viewer to know 
uh, what I'm all about. Now, if you don't know what your mission is as an artist or you're trying to figure that out and maybe you have created a long artist statement that nobody reads, you know, uh, on your website, you know, then you really need to work on crafting something that's the one-liner. And if you need help to figure out your mission, I have a resource for you, by the way, before I continue, which is totally free. Here's the Artist on a Mission Challenge. The Artist on a Mission Challenge is a series of three videos that you register and you will get them, up, uh, you know, systematically through email. And all you do is you go and watch each video and each video is going to take you through the process of discovering your mission or reconnecting your mission to write your statement and to even how to create a one-liner statement just like the one I have here and how to share it with the world. It's totally free. And I'm going to put the link right here under this video, the artistnextlevel.com right slash artist on a mission. Or I'm going to put the link also in the description. Just go and click, click that, sign up, totally free, and you can discover you know, your mission as an artist and how to believe in that mission, how to bring that mission into your studio and then how to share it with the world like I'm doing here on my website. So let's move on. The next thing I have here on my website then as I just scroll down is very simply the three most important choices where somebody can start their journey on my site. Uh, I have my paintings, of course, my art. I have my story and I have my shop. You know, so immediately I send people to what I would think would be the, the most, one of you know, the top three most logical places for them to go to age. Okay. All right. Next page that I want to talk about is, of course, your art. So let's go to the art page or your art gallery. You know, some artists will call it the gallery or the art or, you know, whatever you want to call it. But it's a place, a page where people will see your art. Of course, you know, you are an artist. And uh, people came here to see your art, right? People came to your website because they want to see your artwork. So you want to make sure that when they find it, which is easy to, f easy to find, and right away they can start looking at your artwork. Now, I want to point out some very important things about your gallery. It doesn't matter if you use Wix or Squarespace or uh, WordPress, whatever you use to build your website. Uh, art storefronts, you name it. Is that, uh, you know, super easy to find your artwork. And then let's point out some really important aspects of this page. Uh, here, of course, you want to make sure that people can figure out uh, what they're looking at. I recommend that for every artwork that you have, that you include all the information, the title of the artwork, the medium, the size. Uh, in my case, I put the size both in inches and in centimeters because I also have a lot of Europeans who visit my website and have purchased my artwork. So it's important for them to know, you know, the measurement in centimeters. And uh, and believe it or not, I visit a lot of artists' websites because I'm an art curator as well. Uh, and I'm always visiting artists' websites. And uh, to my surprise, many artists don't put the sizes. You know, the sizes, I think, are very important. Another very important aspect of this is that I suggest that you very clearly identify pieces that are already sold with the word sold or a private collection uh, or something similar, right? Not longer available, where I suggest the word sold. Why this gives also confidence to somebody who may be coming to your website for the first time and now they see, oh, you know, that piece is sold. Oh, that other one is sold. So it, it gives confidence that Others are buying your artwork and nobody wants to be the first one to buy your art. So it's important that you have pieces that you have already sold, even in your website and mark them as sold. Again, it gives that idea of confidence. Well, you know, others have done it and uh, I should too, perhaps. Super important as well. Now, uh, continue to talking about this page uh, or this, yeah, this page where you have your artwork, I also encourage you to make sure that you also include the ones pieces that are not sold and, and that are available for people to buy. Make sure that they are clearly, uh, again, labeled as how in the world can somebody buy your art. I visit a lot of artists' websites that when you get there, you don't know how to buy their art. I mean, it is hardly impossible to figure it out. First of all, is it available? Is it not available? You know, uh, how much is it? Uh, how do I figure it out? If I have to go to a contact page and then fill out a long form and then tell you which piece I, uh, I'm interested, which I've already forgot the title of the artwork, you're probably losing, you know, customers, you're losing collectors, you're losing, you know, uh, from people who may be potential buyers just because 
you're making it really difficult. Remember, we live in a world of Amazon shopping, right? Where you can go on your phone in three seconds, I can order something. Now, of course, for art, people take a little bit more time to purchase art, but still, you want to make it as easy and as smooth as uh, experience as possible. The user experience on your website is super, super important. So make sure that, you know, you provide for every artwork, you know, if it's available, if it's not available, and if it's available, how in the world they can purchase, you know, with a purchase button or an inquire but now if you sell artwork that is difficult to ship, hard to calculate shipping and so on, you know, because maybe you sell the sculpture work or, you know, uh, too, your paintings are too large and you cannot just put a buy now button. Now, then, you know, have an inquire button where somebody can click and inquire about this particular piece in a very easy way. It's a fun and quick way in which all they have to do is put their name here, email, uh, phone message is, is only optional in my case. And then they send it and I automatically get an email identifying that somebody, this person inquired about this particular piece. So super easy, right? And I use um, Artwork Archive to organize all my artwork. Artwork Archive allows me to create these pages. Artwork Archive is an inventory uh, type of um, website where you can manage uh, all your inventory from your website from Artwork Archive, which is what I have right here. This is what you're seeing right now is uh, really the, the feed from Artwork Archive, where as soon as I finish a painting, I put it in Artwork Archive and people can then uh, look at it as well. And I can create collections and so on. For example, I can go and say, uh, you know, I only want to look at the particular Dreamers collection. So by doing that, then I, these are all the paintings from the Dreamers collection or you know, I want to see the Fices collection. So, you know, it allows you, it allows the the viewer, you know, to go to Richard my collections or look at all the artwork. And again, this is super easy. I don't have to do this on the Squarespace, which is the platform I'm using for my website, but rather through Artwork Archive. And by the way, I have a a um, twenty percent for life discount if you want to use it. If you want to try Artwork Archive for yourself and organize your artwork once and for all, have all the information in one place. So use it, you know, I'm going to put that, that link also under the description of my video. So that's for the art page, right? But let's talk about now next, the next page I want to really focus on is the shop page. Now, some artists uh, uh, may have the art and the shop in the same place, meaning like within your artwork, as I show you, you can also buy uh, directly from that page as I have it right here on mine. However, I also have a shop page where I also do special promotions, particularly for uh, prints and collections uh, of uh, uh, open edition prints or limited edition prints or small works. So this is all my fine art, like, you know, original artwork. And in the shop page, that's where I would sell other things. So let's go through that page. In the shop page here, uh, this is where you can find my limited edition prints where you can order prints in different sizes. These are all uh, beautiful, high-end, limited edition prints. Uh, they come in three different sizes, and either frame or on frame, and they are really, really great pieces. Um, and, you know, because it's a print, you know, I, I want to make sure that you identify exactly what kind of print it is, how is it printed, the exact size, dimensions, you know, what kind of printing. Uh, paper are you using? Is it archival or not? How about shipping and returns, etc. Now, some of my prints here also include augmented reality, which I use Artivide for augmented reality, which by the way, if you want to try uh, also augmented reality, I'm going to put the link under the video for augmented reality with Artivide. So my prints come to life using your phone when you look at them, particularly, you know, uh, the ones that I have here right now that I'm showing you. So, you know, in the shop, I I have um, kind of created different categories too. So I have the, the limited editions and then I have open edition prints. Open editions are prints more like a poster. Um, so this one is a much lower price point because it is more of a poster size, 11 by 17, um, you know, work that uh, it's on paper. Uh, and it looks looks really great as well. There, there you see it. 
And uh, it's a way for somebody to really uh, first entry point, right? Somebody who may not be able to afford a limited edition print or may not be able to afford a, um, uh, you know, a piece of uh, original artwork or a large scale painting, but they want to have something from it because they already came here. They love my work and they would like to have something. So, you know, for $40, for example, they can get one of these uh, open edition uh, prints, which is really, really great. So it's a great it's a great price point, right? So something that you want to think about, you know, as as people come to your site, what options do they have? I know some artists who also sell merchandise. That's an option. You know, some artists like to have, you know, scarves or maybe t-shirts or tote bags or keychains. You know, whatever. You know, you have to decide or you know mugs. Uh, you have to decide what you may want to do or may not want to do and then make sure to get whatever you're going to do that it's included in your website and it's super easy to buy from you. Again, I want to reiterate, it has to be easy to buy from you if you want sales to happen in your website. Uh, so also here I have small works. I work on paper that I release once in a while and then I put in here as a quick promotion that then I promote on my social media. Um, so that's the shop page and a super important page. I want to show you another page that's also a really uh, important page that I think you should have on your website that can help you out. And after that, I'm going to show you one more page that is really kind of like a secret page that uh, when I put it on my site, it really made a huge difference. But before I talk to that to, about that one, let's talk about uh, this other page that I want to show you, which I call this page the... Uh, living with art page. So I have this thing that's called living with art. Here we go. Living with art, visual inspiration. This is a page where you can include pictures of your art in living spaces. Like for example, in, in somebody's uh, bedroom or living room or somebody's office. Ideally, if you have real photographs from your clients or the, even, even that you can also set up in your own home and take a shot. You know, that will work. If you don't have any of them, you can also create some nice mockups, you know, with apps such as Art Placer, which allows you to put your artwork in a room digitally. And again, I'm going to put a link to that resource too. Um, Art Placer apps, great to, you can put your artwork there and then pick from hundreds of different rooms that you that they have to choose from. And then you drop your artwork and then it shows up. And then you can put a frame to it and, um, and yeah, make it look like, you know, like nice little mock-up. What this page does is allows, you know, prospect buyers to get a sense of how your art may look on somebody's home, right? It's a quick way to see scale, to see the type of art, you know, uh, that you do, how it may look on somebody's space, right? Which is really, really powerful. It's like a showroom. It's a showroom of how your artwork looks. Um, now, as you also continue to evolve as an artist, you know, your website will continue to grow and you will be adding more more pages to your site. Like on mine, I have also NFTs and augmented reality and page for videos and so on. Another page that you may want to have is a news page or a news tab or a blog. You know, I have one also for my blog here um, that I sometimes write something or show or like behind the scenes of how an artwork was created. But you know, what is nice about that is that you start to create also additional pages that could be also beneficial for SEO. You know, people who may be searching and they come to your site because something you wrote in your blog or in your news section of your website. Now let's talk about this very important page that I created and has really helped me to give me some great opportunities and also has helped me to sell more art. And this is a page that um, not many artists have on their website. And this is something that many years ago, I don't even know how many, maybe eight, eight years or so, um, as I was building my website, which is not this one, you know, an older website that I had back then, you know, I was doing like what everybody, every artist does, you know, you have your about section and you put your bio and your CV. And, you know, the more I look at my website, I'm like, you know, it just looks like a regular website from anybody else. You know, you have your bio and written in third person and then, you you know, you have your 
CV or uh, your list of exhibitions and experience people can look at. The reality is that, you know, nobody's going to read that stuff unless they, you know, it's somebody in the art world, like an art collector, or like, I mean, like an art curator or an art gallery or so. Art collectors who come to purchase your art, really they will spend a lot of time looking at that. Maybe some, but not many, right? And, you know, those things are more like professional pieces that you use in the art world. But I wanted to do something different. I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to include those there and they are actually on my website. You know, if you go to my about section, you can find my bio and my CV. You know, what would anybody else would already have here with a list of my exhibitions and so on. But I'm like, I want to do something more personal. And I say, I'm going to test something out. I'm going to write my story from my point of view, you know, as a one pager. Uh, like if I'm actually talking to you, you know, the viewer, the visitor of my website, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about about my experience as an artist, becoming an artist, and the highs and lows of my art career, and how I have overcome those things, right? A good story, I think about what's a good story. A good story always has some drama. So if I had to think about my own art career, what's the biggest obstacle I have to overcome as an artist? So I talk a little bit about that and how I overcame, you know, have overcome that obstacle in my own art career. And then I finish my story with a call to action. And the call to action is I invite people to, you know, if they resonate with my story, to continue browsing my website because they probably will enjoy looking at the work based on my story, what I just shared. Something short, very curated or whatever I wanted to share. And then I said, well, I'm going to test it out. And I put it on my homepage. I put it out said my story. Well, to my surprise, my friends, it's been now probably eight to 10 years that I have that page. And over the years, I keep you know updating it, of course, uh, as I update my website. It's still, to this day, is one of the most visited pages on my website, right on par with my art, you know. And I never thought people would take the time to read my story. But, you know, as I talk to people who have visited my website, many of them are so familiar with my story and because they read it. And they say, oh, so you I read your story. In fact, I have had, you know, gallery exhibitions that I've been invited to participate because the curator who was interested in my work visited my website and then read my story. In fact, one of the most beautiful exhibitions I've had in the last few years you know, once I was invited, it was a solo show. And then afterwards I asked the curator, you know, so why, you know, what moved you to invite me to have this beautiful show? And he said, well, I visited your website. I've been following you for a while on social media. I love what you do. So, said, but I, I read your story and I was really uh, touched by your story. And I said, I would like to have his work here in our webs in our, in our gallery. So that page itself has already given me amazing opportunities as well as people who have purchased my work because they have come to my website, they read my story, and now they feel that they have a deeper, better connection with me. So I'm going to show you that page right now really quickly. It's a super simple page that it's called My Story. So I'm going to go to My Story right here, and that's it. This is My Story. It's a nice picture of me on the top. And then I write, you know, a little bit of my story. Yeah, a little bit of, of biographical information, where I was born, where I grew up a little bit. Uh, you know, my journey as an artist. Uh, it's not a bio, but it's a story. It's more in a storytelling format. And then uh, some of the things that I have done, some of the obstacles I have I, I encountered, how I overcame that obstacle. And then the invitation, right, at the end for people to check it out to register for my studio as well uh, newsletter so people can receive more information um, etc right so super important uh, page so if you have never never written your artist story you know I invite you to do so I totally invite you to do so and particularly if you do the challenge um, artist on a mission challenge that I mentioned you earlier which is totally free artist on a mission challenge Again, the link is on the description of this video. You know, you can use that same format to create your story page. And uh, it's a very powerful tool that uh, when you put it and you make it really obvious for people to see from your homepage and then you'd send people to, you share it once in a while, your social media, you will be surprised. You will be surprised when you look at your analytics at how many people actually read your story, actually read your story. Why? Because people, it's 
are attracted to stories. I'm attracted to a good story. You are attracted to a good story. We all are. It's part of us being human that we're attracted to stories. So take the time to write your story and see how it performs on your website over time. So of course, other pages that you may want to have is a contact page. Somebody who may want to contact links to your, to your social medias and so on. And one last bonus, one last bonus that I want to share and mention with you is you want to have also on your website, uh, you know, a pop-up window that when somebody lands on your site that, you know, indicates that they can sign up uh, to receive, you know, your email a newsletter or whatever you have. I don't recommend you call it a newsletter. I, I would recommend give it a nice cool name or a phone name. I call my my, VI, my VIP list. So I invite people to sign up for my VIP list. In that VIP list, you know, I say what they will receive. And that is also really good because you'll be capturing people's emails that come to your website who want to hear more from you. And by the way, you do not need, it's important, you do not need thousands of emails, you know, because you're not going to get hundreds and hundreds of emails. You're going to get only the emails from people who say, yeah, I want to know more about you. Tell me more. Tell me more. And make sure that you tell them more, you know, when they sign up from your from your email. But wait, before you leave this video, if you are an artist who wants to grow your art career and wants to achieve greater success, make sure you check out the Art Next Level program. You'll find a link under this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the next video that we have recommended just for you.